Good evening, everyone. Good night. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to today's class. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. What about the others? How are you guys? Are you happy? Are you angry? Are you hungry? Dream. You are your? Dream. All right, excellent. Yeah, I got you. Hi there, Carlos. How are you? Are Hello. you hungry? Are you happy? Other tired. Okay. So Okay, right, no lo puedo decir en inglés. <risa> ¿El qué? ¿El qué no puede decir? A ver. Pero aquí estamos haciendo la lucha. Excelente. Yes, everyone. Eso sí le puede decir. No se preocupen y no se desanimen, sobre todo. No se imaginan lo que es. Bueno, sí se imaginan, porque todos ustedes ya son trabajadores y todo eso. Pero nunca hay que rendirse. Siempre aprendemos algo nuevo y eso se lo voy a decir bien clarito. Siempre podemos <risa> aprender. Y nunca nos cansamos de aprender. Claro, quisiera decir algo <risa> que me, me dio risa porque nunca estaba haciendo los ejercicios el día de ahora en la plataforma. ¿Eh? Y o sea, quizás es algo tan práctico, tan sencillo como saber el escuchar o pronunciar el, el cero, el número cero, no como el tradicional cero. <risa> me dio una gran batalla para entenderle. Y busqué muchas herramientas en línea, incluso con, con mi sobrino estuvimos investigando y costó, costó, por lo menos a mí, no sé qué dirán los compañeros, pero me costó mucho comprender cómo lo estaba pronunciando en, la, en el audio. Y no, cap, o sea, lo que pretendía entender era un guión, pero busqué guiones, puntos y <ríe> al final cuando logré... Eh, como le digo, encontrar la, la respuesta correcta o entenderlo, me dio risa porque en un número me trabé. No, it happens, pasa. Inclusive con palabras sencillas como el verb to be no puede pasar, pero don't worry, it happens. What you need is to practice. The key, la clave, siempre va a ser practice. Practice as much as you can lo más que puedan. Por eso es importante que se conecten a todas las clases. And actually, congratulations to you. Los felicito. Que no es fácil estar cansado un día super heavy y super pesado y estar aquí, pero los felicito. Eso es un buen deseo que tienen. Y van a aprender. Yo sé que sí. Confío mucho en eso y veo que ustedes están poniendo de su parte. Porque estar aquí it ain't easy. No es fácil, pero ustedes lo están logrando, right? So, Welcome everyone. Let's see. I'm going to share with you my PPT. I have a pretty interesting content in today's class, right? We have the date, Thursday, August 26, 2021. We are in class number three, All right? Three. We're still in section one. It's nice to meet you. Today we're going to finish section one. Let's see. As always, I'm going to have this kind of questions for you. And I'm going to start with, let's see. Karen, mention the bird to be, Karen. No, es maravilloso, es como una condecoración, pero temporal. Una condecoración por valor. No es nada. Pero bueno, estás de tipo, eso es algo. Pero no fue suficiente. Del bird to me. Uh -huh. I is you. All right, mention the bird to be. Do you remember that we have three only? Bird to be. We only have three. Hola, Dios. Gracias por llamarme. Am, I am, are, 
is excellent. There you have it, Karen. Thank you very much. Let's go with. Let's see. I'm going to have Alejandro. The verb to be is used to. Ok, eh, voy a ver mis apuntes. Ajá, eh, muy bien, muy bien. Eso sí lo felicito, mira. Verbo to be. Eh, quiero ver. Eh, afirmativo full, full or sure. Ok, listen the question. Mira la pregunta. The verb to be is used to. Fue una teoría que les di ayer, un pedacito de teoría acerca del verb uh, to be. Ah, eh, lo que dice aquí es the verb to be is used say submitting a book a person a person time or a state to show a permanent or temporal quality state. Excellent. Yes, indeed, my friend. Very good. Excellent. That's the right answer. We have number three. We use possessive adjectives when Let's see if you take notes yesterday because this information is from yesterday's class. And also you had that, that theory. Let's see, I'm going to ask Jamilet. We use possessive adjectives when? My, my, your, his, she, is, or, they. Right. Thank you. Now listen, my friend Jamilet. Those are the possessive adjectives. Pero cuando utilizamos possessive adjectives, también les di esa información. Por eso tenemos la double H word, when, que significa cuando. We use possessive adjectives when. Let's see, Roberto, if you have those notes. Ah, ah, ya vi. Eso les voy a aconsejar que copien cuando yo les pongo teoría. Yo sé que están cansaditos, pero tienen que copiarlo. Si no, eh, les va a costar más. Por eso es que yo les pongo la teoría aquí para que ustedes la estudien y la puedan ver. Right? Let's see. Somebody who would like to participate in telling me when do we use possessive adjectives? Hi. All right. Let's see, Oscar. Uh, when we uh, want to displace and uh, form and the possession. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. When we want to express a form of possession. Thank you so much, Oscar. Excellent. There you have it. Thank you. We use possessive adjectives because we want that others know that these are our belongings, right? These are our possessions. For example, my bottle, your bottle, they bottle, right? When we want to show possession. Now let's see my dear students. No crean que, no crean que me olvidado del ABCD, <laughs> all right? All of you are going to pass today. I was just checking, I was giving you time to practice within the platform, but we are also going to practice in here. Now listen, all of you are going to practice. If by any chance you tell me, Miss, I don't know how to pronounce this, or Miss, yo no me puedo la pronunciación de esta letra, tell me and I'm gonna help. But all of you are going to try. Let's start with, Maria Teresa, please tell me the alphabet. Repeat. Tell me the alphabet, please. A, B, C, D, E, F, D, e, F G, H, I, J, K, L, M, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y P. 
Excellent, very good. There you have it. Let's go with Ruben Perez. Tell me the alphabet. C, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Excellent, thank you. Thank you so much, Ruben. Let's go with Carlos Guevara. Tell me the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, Y, no, 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 no. Q. H, Y, H, I, H, I, J, J, K, Q, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, e, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, C. C. Excellent. Repeat after me, my friend. You. You. Three times. Three veces. You. 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 Excellent. Very good. Se me había olvidado decirles, alumnos míos. Yo tengo esa metodología que cuando nos cuesta una palabra o una letra, los voy a hacer repetirlo tres veces. All right? Eso es parte right. de la práctica. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Carlos Guevara. Let's go with Angela Rosario. Buenas noches. Good night. Good evening. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, I, J, J, K, K L M N O P Q R S S T V U V W Y Y D. Excellent. Thank you so much, Angela. Excellent. Let's go with. Janira, if you need help, you let me know, all right? A, E, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, U, J, K, Q, K, L, M, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, C. Bravo, excellent. Yanira, very good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Ya puede descansar, <laughs> Let's go with Emilio Jimenez. Let's see, Emilio, how we're doing with the alphabet. You. Yeah. Open your microphone, Emilio. Okay. A, B, C, B, F. E? E, F, G, G, A, H, E, F, I, I, G, K, 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 L, 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 M, M, O, P, Q, R S T U U B the W W 
W A X X Y Y Z Sí. Excellent. Very good, Emilio. Thank you. All right, everyone. Let's see. Check this out. The difference between the B and the V is the pronunciation. And also you need to use your lips. V. V. This one, right? V. And the other one is B. Normal. B. Let's see, let's get to Roberto Ramirez. Tell me the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, R, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, D, 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 W, X, Y, Z. All right, thank you, Ramirez. Let's go with Karen. Karen Jimenez. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, C. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mrs. Jimenez. All right, let's move on. Let's go with the next one. Oscar Carranza, please. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, E, J, K, L, M, M, O, P, Q, R is T U B W X Y C. Excellent. Thank you so much. Repeat after me, Oscar. I. 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 Yes. A quick tip, I. everyone. Es un tip para todos. Y si les va a funcionar. La pronunciación de esta letra, I. Acuérdense como si alguien los estuviera pellizcando o empujando. I, right? That's your reaction. Esa es la reacción que tenemos. So don't forget that. I. And let's see, Oscar, repeat after me. Q. Q. Three times, Oscar. Q. Another time, Q. excellent. All right, thank you, Oscar. Let's go with William Villalta. Hello, Miss. Good night. Hello, good evening. Let's see how thank we you. do with the alphabet. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. M N O P Q R S T U B W X Y C. Excellent, very really good, William. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go with Alejandro Contreras. Okay, señor. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U B W X Y C. Excellent, bravo, thank you, Alejandro. Let's go with Francisco Fernandez. A, B, C, D, F, F, no, perdón, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, 
Q R S T U B W X Y C. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. All right. Let's go with Linda Alas. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U B W X J Y C. Bravo, excellent, Linda, very good. And let's go with Nelson Davis. Good night. Good evening, Nelson. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U B W X Y Z. Excellent, bravo, very good job. All right, everyone. I've seen, let's see, the last one is Jamilet Torres. You haven't passed, right? So it's your turn, my friend. Hello? I can't hear you. It's not working, maybe. Your headphone. Hola. Yeah, now we can hear you, excellent. Ahora sí la escuchamos, Jamilet. You can talk now. Mm, but you don't have the headphones on. Let's see, let's see. Well, Jaminet, don't worry. If you don't pass today, you will pass. Sooner or later, but you will pass, all right? So don't worry. Let's see everyone. All right, let's see. Let's move on. Let's go with this one. Let's review because you're going to practice today with this information. The verb to be is used to say something about a person. Remember that verb to be is the same as ser o estar, right? That's the meaning of verb to be. Thing or a state to show a permanent or temporary quality, a state, job, or occupation, and nationality. Look at these examples. The first one, I am 30 years old. We are friends. Sonia is Salvadorian, okay? This was from yesterday's class. Then we have verb to be, the affirmative and full short. And the affirmative full and short form. But listen, this is the verb to be, okay? This one is the verb to be. We have three verbs, am, um, is, are. But also we use the verb to be in conjunction with the subject pronouns, right? I am, am. Um, you are your, he is his, she is she's, it is its, we are where, you are your, they are they. Okay, this is from yesterday's class. Right now we are just recalling. And now we have the verb to be in here. I have these sentences for you, my dear class, my dear students. Okay. Let's see, 
I'm going to ask William, please read these sentences. Read them. Um, your Jennifer Miller. Is... No, okay. quiero que lea las oraciones, please. Okay, okay. In Jennifer Miller, you're in my class. She is in our class. Jennifer is in our class. It's my math book. It's Miller. My name is Miller. Excellent. Thank you so much. All right. There you have it. Right. These are, these are you. examples. You're welcome. These are examples using verb to be. But also check this information. We all, these are statements, right? Statements like normal sentences. Oraciones normales, statements, these ones. But these other ones are questions with verb to be. These ones are different. What is going to change is the structure, not the meaning. The meaning is still the same, but you are going to change the structure. Let's see, Janira, please read this information, Janira Velasquez. Are you Steven Carson? Yes, I am. No, I'm, no, I, no. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. All right, everyone. As if you may notice, in this case, I have my verb to be at the beginning of the sentence, right? I start my sentence with verb to be, with subject, sorry. I start my sentence with subject, then the verb to be, and then complement. But in this case, I have verb be at the beginning, then I have my subject, and then complement. And also, check this out. We have a question mark a question mark, right? You cannot complete or make sentences without, make questions, sorry, without the question mark, you need it. All right, let's see, let's move on. Verb to be a structure. Now pay carefully attention to this one, my dear students, all right? We have a structure, subject plus verb to be plus complement. What's the structure that we have, Ruben Perez? Ruben, what's the structure that we have? Perdón. What's the structure that we have for verb to be? Read it, please. This is a structure. Perdón, que no estaba poniendo atención. Es que está lloviendo otra vez bien fuerte acá. Ah, ok, Casi Ruben, vale. I understand. Léame la estructura, bien, please. Verb to be a structure. Ver, verb to be. Plus complement. In my subject? Subject plus verb to be plus complement. Excellent. There you have it. Don't forget the subject, everyone. We cannot have a sentence without the subject. Thank you, Ruben. And let's see. Check this out. We have the subject I with um, you with R, we with R, they with R, he with is, she with is, it with is. You don't need to add the with, okay? This is just for you to, to get the idea, right? You are, we are, they are, he is, she is, it is. 
Pay carefully attention to this part. Are is used for plural, more than one, okay? You cannot use are when you are talking about just one thing or a person. You use are when talking about plurals. You use is when talking about singular, one thing, no more than one thing, all right? Copy this on your notebooks, please. If you don't have it, copy. Let me know when you're finished. Finish. Finish. Thank you very much. Finish, right. Miss. Excellent. Thank you. All right. We have this guiding examples. I'm going to need. Um, Karen, please read example number one, only number one. I am Sarah. Thank you. Maria Teresa, number two. You are tall. Thank you. Roberto, number three. Phoebe is an English teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Emilio, number four. Emilio Jimenez. Tony is a doctor. Thank you. Janina Velasquez, number five. They are my classmates. Thank you. And Sonia Arevalo, number six. We are intelligent. Excellent, thank you. William Villalta, number seven. It's my cell phone. Excellent, thank you so much. These are thank you. statements, right? These are sentences, statements. These are not questions. Oh, yeah, These are sure. You are then. All right, now listen, in here, Let's check this one. In number one, Alejandro, in number one, what's my subject? I am Sarah. My subject? Dígame el subject, the number one, from number one. What's the subject? Uh, uh, I. You. In number Sorry, one, I, entonces. exactly. Number one, I, am, my I, I. Uh, excellent. And my uh, birth, okay, very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Right, uh, okay. this also could be called um, the complement. All right, but what I want you to understand is that we have the subject I, and this is for everyone. All right. Roberto Ramirez, in number two, what's my subject? You. Mm -hmm. And what's my verb to be? Are. Exactly, thank you. And the rest, we can call it complement. Although in this case, it's also an adjective, right? Tall, fat, small, short, we have adjectives. Thank you. Thank you, Roberto, and let's go. Let's see, number three. I'm going to ask Carlos Guevara. In number three, what's my subject, Carlos? You. 
my subject? Is. That's my verb to be. Mm. What's my subject? Mm -hmm. Let's see. My subject is Febe. Porque este nombre equivale a una ella. Y mm. ella en inglés es she, right? She, that's my subject. She is verb to be. The rest mm -hmm. complement. Es right. algo nuevo. Es uh -huh. new. It's new. <laughs> yeah, I understand, right? Yes, you can change. Not always, not always you're going to have the she, he. You need to learn how to recognize that sometimes they change. A veces cambian. No es que siempre van a tener el she o el he presente. Tienen que localizarlo en las oraciones. Usualmente, como ya sabemos, el subject goes before the verb to be. La estructura le va a ayudar. La estructura dice que va el subject primero y luego el verb to be. Right? Entonces, it's logic to think that Tony is my subject and is is my verb to be. All right? Excellent, everyone. Thank you. All Now, right. with that being said, let's see. Practice time. Cha -cha -cha -chan. Now it's your time, my dear classmates, my dear students. Let's see, we have instructions, pay attention. Number one, work individually. Number two, create one sentence using verb to be. I'm not asking you, I'm not asking you for more, just one sentence, okay? Now is your time to create one sentence, no more, okay? Remember that you need the structure. Remember the structure, right? In here, subject plus verb to be plus complement. Van a utilizar esa estructura para crear su oración, sentence. Create one sentence. Okay, I'm gonna give you the time. Let me know when you're finished. Yes, Angela, tell me, you have a question? Or no? One more minute for everyone. It's you. Es el sujeto. Mm -hmm. Are. Es el verbo. Y el complemento es beautiful. La oración okay. es you are beautiful. Ah, okay, Angela. You were raising your hand because you wanted to participate. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Angela. All right, let's see. I'm going to 
Take notes of who are the ones that are going to participate. Let me check. I have your names in here. And in the study. Let's go with. William Villalta. I am. I is is subject and verb to be. Verb to be. He and complement happy. And very good, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. William, excellent. Sonia Areva. Sonia. Okay. Um, for example, Andrea, Ale, and Sofia, they are my three daughters. Yeah, it's it's great actually. And the verb to eat day. Day. And um the verb to be is not day. Your verb to be is are. Are ah, yeah, yeah, are. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Now listen, you told me three names, right? Andrea and I don't know the other two names. Ale and Sofia. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Exactly. So in this case, you are telling me already that your subject is they. You don't need to oh. write down they again. No necesita escribir they de nuevo. Porque ya me dijo los tres nombres de sus hijas, right? Okay. okay. You're only going to say Andrea, Sofia, and, and the other girl are my daughter. My daughter. Uh -huh. my, uh, my daughter. Okay. Excellent. Very good, Sonia. Let's go with Alejandro. Of course. Let's see, Alejandro. Podría ser Miss. My daughter is beautiful. Yes. Yes. Actually, you can use that one, but you're using possessive. Ahí me está utilizando posesivos, my. Oh, okay. You can tell me, yeah. actually, you can tell me the name of your daughter, and then you say, for example, me is beautiful. Okay. O sea que, eh, bueno, mi hija se llama Dara, se podría poner a Dara eh, is beautiful. Exactly, there you have it, ahí tiene su subject. Okay, very good. Excellent. Wow. Ah, and she's crying. <laughs> let's see, let's go on with Emilio. Let's see, Emilio. Emilio Jimenez. Okay. Is... You, you are... Okay. You are... Crazy, crazy, um, centers, or sin ver tu I Emilio, no hizo su oración. Ahorita estamos compartiendo las oraciones. Ah, muy bien. Este, eh, lo tengo que hacer mi oración a, a, a perdón, mi oración según a, a mi criterio, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, of course. Pero acuérdese de la estructura. No se olvide. Necesita el subject, verb to be, plus complement. Ah, oh, sí. Ok. Le voy a dar tiempo mientras tanto pasa a otro de sus compañeros. All right? Más. Ok. Let's see. Karen. Karen Jiménez. She is mother the twins a girl. She is mother or she the is a twins. mother? She is mother the twins. Ah, she is the mother's twins. Twins. Thank uh -huh. you. Excellent. Yes, yeah. she is the mother's. Está perfecto. She is. She is she's. the subject. She is the verb to be. Mother's twins. twins. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Excellent, Karen. Very good. 
Yo me gusta que no se queden atrás, que si tienen una duda la hagan, pero igual trabajen, porque así lo van a, así van a lograr comprender mejor el tópico. Let's go with, who else do I have in here? Carlos Guevara. Let's see your sentence, Carlos. Okay. They are a student in the university. Excellent, very good, that's great. Roberto Ramirez, your sentence. Roberto Ramirez, your sentence. Hmm. Let's go with Oscar Carranza. Tell me your sentence, please. Okay. <clears throat> I am watch TV. Okay, excellent. Subject, yeah. uh -huh. subject I, bear to be am, um, plus complement, watch TV. Excellent, really good. Now listen, in that one, you need to add the ING. Te voy a decir esto. Hay oraciones que son progresivas. Lo van a ver con el tiempo, ese tema aquí también, el progresivo presente progresivo. Y en este caso, como usted lo está haciendo ahorita, sería I am watching TV. Watching. Ok. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Oscar. Excellent. Let's go with Francisco Fernández. They are playing soccer. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Linda Alas. We are English students. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Nelson David. Uh, it is a cell phone. All right, excellent. It is a cell phone, very good. And Jamile Torres, let's check if your audio is working, my friend. Hola, no sé si me escuchan. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay. There is a problem. No sé si está bien, pero intenté hacerla. All right, excellent. We have, we are missing the subject, okay? Just in that case, because you are using verb to be, and that's correct. But we are missing a subject, okay? For example, we can say she is a problem or he is a problem, right? Excellent, very good, because you're using okay. verb to be. Excellent, thank you. Let's see the last person that I have in here. Well, Janina, I don't know if your uh, microphone is working now. Let's see. It's my shoes, why? Uh -huh. My shoes, it's one or two? Mm, two. Uh -huh. So what's my, what's my verb to be? Uh, it. Okay, let's check that sentence, Yanira. Si usted tiene plural, que sería shoes, you have two, uh -huh. right? Tenemos uh -huh. dos pies, tenemos two shoes. <laughs> Entonces, you need to use R. Ah, R. Ajá, Entonces sería, it's R shoes white. Oh, no. You can say, mm, my shoes are white, my shoes are white, but in this case, you're using a possessive. Ah, so you need to change it. You need to use a subject, right? Let's okay. see. All right, everyone, thank you so much. Very good job. Most of you completed everything, excellent. Now, let's move on to my favorite part of verb to be. We have questions with be, a structure. We have verb to be plus subject plus complement. And check this out. We have a question mark, okay? Question mark, this is the question mark. 
when we are creating questions with verb to be, you need to have the question mark. Okay, and I'm telling you this because in the platform you are going to need it. If you don't add by any chances the question mark, you're going to have problems in the platform. So that's why I need you to add it. Let's see. I'm going to ask Gladys Escobar, please tell me the structure that we have in here. Mm, we are the champion. Tell me the structure, please. Verb to be plus. We are. Necesito que me lea la estructura, please. Read. Ah, perdón. Es <laughs> um, verbo to be más subjects, más complements, eh, question mark. Ok, repeat after me, Gladys. Verb to be. Verb to be. Plus. 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 Ajá, plus. plus. Así plus. se llama este signo en inglés, plus. plus. Oh. Ajá, <laughs> 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 uh, continue. Verb to be plus. Verb to be plus. Subject. Such as plus. Such as plus complement plus. Plus question mark. Plus question mark. Excellent. Thank you, Gladys. Thank you so much. All right, everyone, copy this structure on your notebooks, please. Copy this because after the examples, you are going to work alone again. Miss, mm -hmm. question. Tell me your question. Who are we talking? Let me see. Ah, William, uh -huh. El, eh, La pronunciación del signo de interrogación. O ¿Cuál es su nombre en inglés? Vuelvame a repetir, por favor. Gracias. El mío, mi nombre o el nombre del question mark? El, el, no, el nombre del signo de interrogación. Ah, ok. Question mark. Question mark. Ajá, aquí lo tienen, ¿ve? Question okay. mark. Ok. Thank you. Excelente. Don't worry, there you have it. Es muy bueno que se aprendan los nombres de los, sim los símbolos, mejor dicho, en in inglés. Actually, para la próxima clase les voy a tener un poquito de eso también. And this one, más, it's plus, right? And this one is the question mark. All right, my dear students, let's move on. We have these guiding examples, right? As always, we have guiding examples. Listen to my pronunciation and then you are going to practice. Number one, am I hungry again? Number two, is she your sister? Number three, is Paolo your boss? Number four, are we students? Number five, are my parents angry? Six, is it my cat old? Seven, are you free today? Okay, now it's your turn to practice. Kidding. Number one, please, getting him in. Okay. 
I am ugly. Am I? Repeat after me. Am I? Am I hungry? 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 Again? Again. Excellent. Thank you. Tengo hambre de nuevo. All right. Hungry? Is hambriento, right? Yes. Am I hungry again? Yeah. Especially if you have dinner at seven. All right. Excellent. So pay attention, everyone in here. Let's keep an eye on this one. You have the verb to be at the beginning of the question. In this case, we are going to start questions with verb to be. And then you have the subject. And then you have the complement. All right? Let's go All with right. you. William. Excellent. William, number two. Is she your sister? Excellent, thank you. Roberto Ramirez, number three. Is Paulo your boss? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Maria Teresa, number four. Are we está, um, está, es, studying? Students? Students. students. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you, Mary. Let's see, Emilio, number five. Just are read. My, uh -huh. Are my parents angry? Angry, repeat, angry. Angry, angry. Excellent, thank you. Number five, number six, Angela Rosario. Is it my cat or? Excellent, thank you. Everyone, please correct this one, angry. It has A, in case you already copy with E, it has A. Thank you, Angela and Francisco Fernandez. <coughs> Number seven, please. Are you free today? Excellent, there you have it, everyone, please. Thank you, Francisco. Remember, when doing questions, we have the verb to be at the beginning of the questions. Then we have the subject, okay? Pay carefully attention to this one. First, verb to be, and then you have the subject. If you make that vice versa, it will be a sentence, but if you have the verb to be at the beginning and then the subject, you have questions, which are two different things, right? Now, let's see everyone. Now it's your practice time. Instructions. Instructions, let's see. I'm going to have Nelson David, please read the instructions. Instruction. Word in the way individuality. Individually. Individually. Create uh, one question using verb to be. Three, share your sentence with the class. Excellent. All right, everyone. Let's work on this. Create one question using verb to be. You already know how to do it, right? Remember, verb to be plus subject plus complement and question mark. All right? Take your time and create your question. Remember that you're going to use this structure, verb to be plus subject plus complement and question mark. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> and let me know when you're finished. I finished. Excellent.
One question. Uh -huh. Let's see who's talking. Ah, Sonia Arevalo. Tell me, Sonia. Okay. Are you family from El Salvador? Uh -huh. Okay. In this case, we use, let's check this. Where do we are? Mm -hmm. Exactly, you are correct. But listen, let's check this one, Sonia. Mm -hmm. You have your complement as family, right? Family. Yeah. Family, mm -hmm. just one. Inside of that group, you have a lot, but you have mm -hmm. family, only one. So you should use is. Yes. Is your family? Uh -huh. Porque en el grupo familiar son bastantes, pero uh -huh. solo es una familia. Uh -huh. So, is your family? If your family. Uh -huh. so, uh, is your family from El Salvador. Exactly. Very good. There you have it. Excellent. That's correct. Okay. Already. Excellent. Very good, Carlos. Are they studying in the university? Mm -hmm, exactly. Are they studying in the university? All right. So le está cambiando los subjects, Carlos. Siempre <laughs> 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 en el university. Lo que me sale más práctico. Let's see. You have plenty of vocabulary. Tienen mucho vocabulario. Excellent, Carlos. It's correct. Miss Finish. Let's see who says Miss Finish. Are you teacher of computation? Let's see. Ah, William. <laughs> Siempre lo pierdo, William. Let's see. Repeat again. Are you teacher of computation? All right. Let's see. Su, su oración está correcta. But it's not computation. That doesn't say. Okay. Okay. Are you a technology teacher? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Very good. Gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent, William. It's correct. Si está bien su estructura, porque utilizó el verb to be y luego el sub. Pero solo esa palabra. All right, everyone. Somebody else who has finished? I finished. Excellent. Tell me. Are you a cooker in the restaurant? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Roberto, right? Let's see. Somebody else who has finished? Are you are you playing football? Are you playing football? Playing football. Playing football. Playing football. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Very good. All righty, y'all, everyone. We have finished the class. No crean que porque no pasan una hora no me la van a decir mañana y me la van a decir, right? Right. I need to tell you some announcements. Um, tomorrow we have class. And I'm going to say this in Spanish. Mañana tenemos clase. Su curso es de lunes a jueves. Pero mañana tenemos clase ya que el, el 15 de septiembre Vamos a tener clase, right? Entonces, para compensarlo, mañana tenemos clase. No se pierdan la clase virtual. Los veo aquí, siempre, a las nueve. Y por favor, completen la plataforma lo más que puedan, avancen. Si tienen dudas, ayer vi que alguien escribió en el grupo que tenía dudas con un exercise y pueden hacerlo con toda claridad. Pueden escribir en el grupo. Miss, ayúdenme con eso, compañeros. Si en dado caso la misma no está conectada, pueden hacerlo. No quiero que con la duda, porque si no. Pero, no quiero que se queden con la duda, porque si no, después no van a saber cómo, cómo completar los ejercicios. Así que siempre pregúntenme si tienen una duda. Pueden hacerlo por WhatsApp, ya sea en el grupo 
o en privado, right? All right, everyone. Have a pleasant night. Take care. And see you tomorrow. See you. Good night. God Good bless night. you. Bye. Thank see you tomorrow. For you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Happy dreams. dreams.